Hello and welcome to this virtual production vlog. My name is Matt Workman and today we're going to be shooting a car scene in a cyberpunk atmosphere and we're going to actually control the actor and the car live like it's a video game. So let's jump right into this process. So what we're going to do now is hop into Unreal Engine and we're going to actually perform and record our lead actor and the car all at once. So record and play. And there it is. So let's go hop into the car here. This part of the take, I don't know if I'm going to really use. I have a couple that I like already. So we're driving the car now. I'm going to do one of these. Nice. Okay, here, I'm going to take this turn and jam the brake. A little drifting. Nice. I like that one. That was good. So we're going to actually do the beginning of the scene where he backs into it like this. Perfect. And then I'm going to do a little bit of a turn like this. Drift. Like that. Nice. And now we're going to get out. Hopefully we're still recording all of this. He gets out, looks around for a second, and then he's gonna go walk and talk to this uh, actor over here. Kind of walks into the car, not the best. Uh, we'll see if we can shoot around that. They talk for a little bit. They're a little close together. I don't know how this is gonna go. And then he's gonna walk away, back into the car and drive off like this. We'll get in the car. Let's see if I can do a nice uh, drift around the corner again. Let the camera sync back up just so I can see what I'm doing. And here we go. And turn and brake. Oh, not bad, not bad, hit the wall. Okay, so we'll call that our take. I'm gonna cut there. So we just recorded uh, our action, literally like playing Grand Theft Auto. And so now we can kind of play that back and then we can film it the way that I normally like to film these type of things. So now that we've recorded the action of the main actor and the car, it's time to go film it. So. I have the scene loaded up right here. And the first shot I'm thinking about is gonna be from behind this actor here. Again, we don't really have a story for this, but uh, I feel like he is kind of like one of the bosses and he's just watching this whole thing happen. And I like this like straight on over the shoulder shot like this. So, so our character here is centered. I'm just gonna play the whole scene this way. Can't necessarily see the car in this picture. Kind of see it. Pulling around, doesn't even flinch. Oh, walks around the car. I'm not gonna pull focus on this one, I'm gonna pull focus on the next one. Here comes the car. So I'm gonna follow the car off screen here. It's pretty badass. So I'm gonna switch shoulders for this part. So he's talking to her a little bit. Getting in his car. So that's gonna be when the car enters, essentially. So I'm gonna start with a close up of this character down here, and the car is gonna drive through, and then we'll pull back to a wide shot. So I'm gonna start about here on a 40. 40 is kind of my go to lens when I don't really have any reason. Uh, I just like that focal length a lot. All right, so we kind of know that this happens here. Of him getting out. So we're gonna do this shot a couple times. Just the shot taking off. Okay, so now we're gonna boom down when we see the car coming in. Do my best. There it is, and action. Cool, I think that worked. So I will take the rest of the scene from here in this wide, just in case.
Okay, so now we are attached to the car. It's like we're on like an invisible car rig. So we'll basically keep this angle and I can operate the gearhead separately like this. And you can see that we get kind of a crazy... Uh, and I'll just go along with it for the ride. So he's doing a little bit of reverse. Like this. Pretty cool shot. I like it. I can still operate it here. Like that. So he walks up and out. So we'll just take the shot from here too. Why not? Right. So I'm actually not going to follow him. I'm just going to stay right here. Reframe for the car. Right. So he gets in. And we reframe. And let's have the takeoff from this front angle here. Should be kind of fun. Yeah, pretty cool. Motion blur a little crazy, but, you know, works for me. Okay, so now we're directly behind the car on a very wide angle lens. And we'll just let the scene play out here. The uh, sliding and backing up. Pretty much like a video game view of it. But kind of a fun one to have. And we'll let the rest of the scene play here. I'm not going to operate at all. This is kind of like a GoPro or something like that. A little bit crazy looking. Okay, so here's the moment we're looking for. 12 mil and we're going to take off with him. Boom, and he's going to kind of slide out. Nice. Pretty cool. <laughs> Pretty cool. Do I go outside? Nah, pretty cool. Okay, here it comes. So I'm looking through the POV. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah. Can I get the, the vibes here? So I'll follow him out. Like this. All right, and we're going to do this really wide pan with him. Like that. I remember. Cool. So that wraps it up for this vlog. Uh, it was a lot of fun shooting stuff with like the actual remote control car and actually walking the actor around beforehand. That's a really nice way to do it when you don't have a full mocap stage to actually walk around. And then mixing the handheld with the gear head here and doing the lighting and just for me, just figuring out what do we need to get done to do like your average shoot. Like if we were going to approach like a cyberpunk like film, you're going to be in the car, you're going to be handheld, this type of lighting. Uh, so really excited. The results were kind of like, eh, you know, I'm still testing. Uh, I'm very much interested in getting a very high-end facial capture mocap system so that I can make them talk. And we are actually running on my new HP Z8 with the Quadro 8000. I don't think we're really pushing it to the limit at this point, but I just wanted to make that note. Let me know in the comments below if you want a kind of like overview of the Z8 and the 8000 and how that's going. But until then, uh, if you want to learn more about virtual production, please join us on the Unreal Engine Virtual Production Facebook group linked below. And I'll see you guys on the next video.